Hey everybody, Robert back with uh, Really Precast. So now in this video, we're going to look at our columns. So thank goodness we had a grid with this model that I just took out of one of my, I think it was Elise Moss training structure or something. Okay, but anyway, the first thing we want to do here now is we want to go and do our columns. So we will go into structure. We go column here and let me just cancel that out. Let me make sure I'm getting the right column here. Properties. Yep, that's the, uh, see what I want the 24 by 24. Okay, so and then I want to select these add grids. And then I'll select my grids. I think I want to go up to about here. I don't think I need a column there. Yeah, I think that's it. We go right to there and then select finish. So I guess any other column we don't need, we can take it out. So there's our columns. And then once you have the columns, of course, you need your uh, footings. And you call this isolated. I'm going to just grab these and put, put them in it. I could do them as a grid as well. So I'll select my grids. And finish. Okay. So now I got that warning message because, uh, let's see. I didn't read it. Something visual going on. And when that happens, we can always go to our 3D view. I think what it's saying is, let me see. Uh, that's what it's saying. It's not showing up in that view. It'll show up in the basement, but for all practical purposes, we want to be on this level right here. And our, let me see what this looks like in 3D. Yes, that's what we want it to look like. <laughs> okay, so now we have our columns in. So let's go in here and do some things with our basement. This one here. Let's go in here and do some things. So let's take a section through here. Okay, now normally, typically, I like to get these about a two inch gap. And it's kind of tricky how you do this. So just watch this. So I'm going to go here. I got that guy. I want to go to my properties. I want to offset this two inches. Okay, so then I want to take this guy again here. Okay, what's going on? See, this is what the tricky part. It's um, two. No, that's not what I want. Okay. Oh, I see it. This back. Let's undo this. Okay, now I want to select the footing here. And see if I can drop this down to 14. There we go. So we're in a two inch gap there. I'll tell you why in a minute. So I'm gonna see if I can do all I can just match these maybe. If I can't, we don't want to worry about it right now. So if I match this one, no, that won't let me do that. So okay. So I'll just select this guy here and I'll offset it two inches. Maybe not even two inches. And then I have to take this one and drop him down to minus 14. Okay. So this gap is for our connections in here. Do this one again. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Set this two inches here. Okay, and this is going to be minus 14. Okay, 
So now let's go back into our floor plan here, our basement plan here. Okay. So we've got these three done, I think. Let's see. Let me see. Yep, those are done. Uh, okay, so let's go back into that. This one here. And this is where we can see everything. Okay, so. This would be the level that's going to be our embedment. Let's go back to my project browser here. I want to look at. Uh, first floor. And I want to pull this over and I want to fix these other columns here. Just pull this section right back to here. And then we'll fix these columns in here. So basically all we're going to do is, I wonder if I can grab these three look at the properties. Yep, I can. So we'll put this two inches up. Okay, here. And these all down. These will go down to minus 14. Okay. Let's go back. Let's get this next row. Get these last two rows, and we're good to go. This one, we're going to select these three columns, and we're going to set this two inches. We're going to make these 14. Uh-oh, what happened there? I know what happened. I went 14 feet. <laughs> it's 14 inches. Minus 14. Did I put that in, guys? Okay. So now I think we got them all. So what I did that for was I want to show. Oh, we got one more thing. I got. I got. I want to show how we would do connections here. This might be a bit overkill, but this is kind of what they do in precast. I'm going to bring this one up. Control here. This one. All set in two inches. Okay. And these three are going to be minus 14. Okay, now we have all of our columns done. Okay, so let me go back to this uh, first level. No, the second level here. Nope. I'm sorry, guys. So now in this level, what I want to do, I created this assembly here. I'll uh, give you a look at this thing if I can. Well, let's just place it and I'll show you this in section view. So I'm going to take this guy. I'm going to move him right to, to there. Now, if I look at this in section, uh-oh, wrong level. So that guy should be on the basement. So I'm going to delete him out of there. Let's delete this guy up and now go back to the basement. And let's see if I can put him here. Or I can do this. Uh, let me cut and paste that. Let's undo that. Go back to that floor. I'm going to cut. I'll just copy it to the basement and I'll paste it in here. So these should go here. 
and I'll copy these guys. I'll finish that. Okay, now I'll copy this guy here. So what these are your plates for the columns. Let's just go and copy these guys multiple. Let's turn in multiple. Okay. So there we go. Could have just done an array. So this drawing is going to be our base plate or foundation for our columns. So we're going to put these guys in here, and we're going to have a quick look. Now let's uh, let's open this section right here. Have a look. Okay, so there you go. It's looking good. This is supposed to. This is going to bear a detail. Uh, see, I got shims in here, but I only had one. But what I can do, I can go and edit this guy. So I'm going to edit this group here. And I'm going to just move this down. Or see if I can copy this guy. I'm not sure. I can I'll copy that up. And I'll just move this down. I'll move this down. These are, I guess, half inch shims. And I'll move this one. Then I'll finish in there. That should pick up all of them. So, hey guys, uh, this is what we want now for our our base uh, column plan. This is like a, a, a plan where you show the columns. There's this detail we made, uh, assembly I made here for this. So anyway guys, thanks for watching and see me in the next video. We will look at how you're going to do your beams. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Everybody be safe and please subscribe. It helps me make videos like this often. Bye.